Are you tired of lag, stutters, and input delay ruining your Fortnite gameplay? Peterbot just dropped his secret 2025 settings, and I'm about to show you how to boost your FPS, cut input delay to zero, and make your game feel buttery smooth, even on a low-end PC. So let's lock in and get you that god-tier performance. Step 1. Set up a performance monitor to help your GPU run better. In this step, we're going to set up a tool that watches how your graphics card, GPU, and processor, CPU, are working while you're playing Fortnite. This can help your game run more smoothly. First, go to the Windows search bar at the bottom of your screen. Type the word performance, if you mean. And when you see performance monitor appear, click on it. When the program opens, look at the menu on the left side. Find data collector sets and double click to open it. Then click on user defined. Inside this section, right click anywhere and select new, then click Data Collector Set. A window will appear asking you to give it a name. Type in GPU Boost. Next, choose the option Create Manually Advanced and click Next. You'll see some checkboxes. Select the one that says Performance Counter and click Next. Then click the Add button. A new window will pop up. Scroll through the list and find Processor. Under that, you'll see a list of numbers like 0, 1, 2, and so on. Pick the highest number on the list. That number is your most powerful CPU core. After picking it, click Next, and then Finish. Now you'll see something called GPU Boost in your list, but it will say Stopped. Right-click on it and select Start to turn it on. Once it's running, you can close the window. This tool will now run quietly in the background and help your computer perform better while gaming. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Optimizing CPU usage for Fortnite using Run with Affinity. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we're going to make Fortnite use your processor more efficiently by using a tool called Run with Affinity. This lets you choose which CPU cores the game should use so it runs faster and smoother. First, open the Run with Affinity tool. You don't have to install anything. Just open the program. Once it's open, find and select the Fortnite Launcher.exe file. After that, set the affinity setting to the highest value available. This tells Fortnite to use your best CPU cores. Then set the run setting to maximize so Fortnite runs in full performance mode. Once all of that is done, use the tool to create a shortcut. From now on, whenever you want to play Fortnite, just use this shortcut to launch it. This will help reduce lag, lower frame drops, and stop stuttering, especially if you're using a budget or low-end PC. Step 3. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. If your computer has an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to make Fortnite run better. This tool lets you change advanced settings that aren't available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and at the top search bar, type Fortnite. If you've already downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can import that directly. But if you haven't, don't worry. You can change the settings manually. First, go to the anti-aliasing section. Set transparency super sampling to 0x tetra 0 triple 0 8. Then go to the texture filtering section and change the following settings. Turn on driver controlled LOD, set LOD E bias DX and LOD E bias OGL to plus three. These settings reduce small graphic details like shadows and grass, which makes your FPS go higher. Then set negative LOD D bias to clamp and change texture filtering quality to high quality. Finally, scroll to power management mode and set it to optimal performance, so your graphics card uses its power more wisely. After doing all of this, click apply changes. These settings are really helpful for players with weak or older PCs and will help Fortnite run smoother with fewer frame drops. Step four, use MSI utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your computer hardware work faster and reduce delay, we're going to use a tool called MSI utility. This tool helps your PC and Windows system talk to each other more smoothly. After you download it, open the tool. It will show you a list of all the hardware devices connected to your PC. Find your main graphics card, GPU, in the list and check the box under MSI. Then set interrupt priority to high. Now find your integrated graphics card, like Intel graphics, and do the same. Check the MSI box and set the priority to high. Once you've done that, click apply and close the program. These settings help reduce input delay, make your system respond faster and help Fortnite feel smoother especially on slower or budget computers. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. 
So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite, click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Improve CPU performance. Using Throttle Stop for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get even more power out of your CPU while playing Fortnite, we will use a tool called Throttle Stop. First, go to your Tools folder, open the Throttle Stop folder, and double-click on throttlestop.exe to open it. When it opens, you will see different performance plans like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. Choose the one called Game Power Plan and check the box next to High Performance. This setting tells your CPU to always focus on performance. Now look at the sections labeled Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings, but do not change anything in those. Instead, just check the box labeled Disable Turbo. This helps your CPU run at a stable speed and stops it from overheating or slowing down unexpectedly. Now click the button called Turn On, then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background while gaming. This will help your CPU stay fast, stable, and responsive while playing Fortnite. Step 6. Make your keyboard faster using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter in this step will use a tool called Filter Keys Setter to make your keyboard respond faster when you press keys. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. You'll see three main settings. Ignore. Under. Set this to 0 milliseconds. This removes any delay when you press a key. Repeat delay. Set this to 130 milliseconds. This controls how fast a key repeats when you hold it down. Repeat rate. Set this to 10 milliseconds. This makes your keyboard respond very quickly to each press. After setting these values, check the box on the right side to turn them on. Then click OK to apply the changes. This makes your keyboard more responsive, which is really useful in fast games like Fortnite. Step 7. Disabling HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. There is a Windows feature called HPET, High Precision Event Timer, that sometimes causes stuttering and FPS issues during gameplay. To disable it, right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, scroll down and click on System Devices to expand the list. Look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET, in that list. Right-click on HPET and choose Disable. Sometimes HPET causes lag or choppy performance, so disabling it can improve how smooth your game feels and remove random FPS drops caused by background timing errors. If this guide helped you boost FPS and fix lag in Fortnite, make sure to click the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more PC optimization tips. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.